Because I know your exams are coming up and Granny Anna doesn't only care about your mental health but your physical health as well. In today's video we have a very special guest, the one, the only, Anna's mom. Hi! She is a registered dietitian and she will be teaching us how to get those A's the right and healthy way. So if you want to know how to eat right during your study breaks and boost that brain power, keep on watching and let's hear what she has to say. Welcome to my kitchen everybody. So today I'm going to give you a couple of tips on what are the healthiest snacks to uh, choose when you're studying for your exams. We all know that when you're studying, good nutrition is essential but it's often forgotten. So uh, therefore, um, I want to give you a couple of suggestions. Uh, keeping in mind that your brain needs glucose to function it needs vitamin and minerals, it needs good fat and water. So we're gonna try to figure out which food provides you with those key ingredients, key nutrients actually. We said before that your brain needs glucose, okay? I'm not talking about white sugar, I'm not talking about chocolates and candies and cakes and donuts and muffins, no. I'm talking about complex sugar. Complex sugar is gonna allow your sugar level to stay stable and your effort could be at your best for the day. Now, the best uh, um, sources of good carbohydrates or complex carbohydrates are whole um, grains and fresh fruits. Okay, so that's why you have those two groups over here and I prepare a couple of examples for you. You can always choose a homemade uh, whole wheat uh, bread. You can choose oat and prepare a delicious oatmeal. You can use brown bread whole wheat crackers, brown rice, those are all excellent sources of complex carbohydrate. Uh, nevertheless, the fruits are very important. They also provide you with the vitamin and minerals that your body needs. So pick whatever fresh fruit you have at home. Could be strawberries, an apple, banana, um, any kind of fruit, the dry fruits as well. Uh, they're packed with fiber as well, so uh, any fruit is a very good option when you're looking for a healthy snack. Now, um, obviously, in order to keep our uh, body fueled and uh, to allow your brain to function well, it would be the best to pair up your carbohydrate sources with a protein source, right? So the proteins, the best proteins are here. Obviously, I'm not talking about meat and fish because we're just covering snack options over here. So you can always choose a handful of good nuts. Could be any nuts you prefer. Walnuts, almonds, those are my favorite choices, but you can go for pistachio, cashew, uh, some mix of seeds and grains. You can choose uh, cheese, cottage cheese, paneer, you can choose a good snack like chickpeas, lentil, all the pulses, provides you with good uh, source of protein and carbs and of course any nut butter could be a good source of protein. Oh, let's not forget about the eggs, it's packed with nutrients. Don't forget to eat fat, okay? We're not going to follow a diet to lose weight or to become a supermodel, right? But choose wisely. Choose the right type of fat. Choose a fat. Uh, it's uh, probably uh, the best, uh, I would say, avocado. Some organic butter is very good as well. Uh, and um, don't forget the dairy product. If you're a fan of yogurt, this would be an excellent choice of a snack. A glass of milk, whether it's like a regular milk or almond milk or soy milk if you're vegetarian. Something that gives the crunchiness to our snack. Choose uh, one of the vegetables, uh, one of your favorite vegetables. I just uh, put down a couple here. So when I talk about a good snack, try to make a combination of those food, okay? Try to uh, vary as much as possible so you get all the nutrients that your body and your brain needs. For example, I can choose as a snack my cheese with my crackers. This is excellent. Other snack could be 
my yogurt in which I add some fresh fruit. A toast with peanut butter. Or I could choose my oatmeal in which I add a handful of nuts. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Anna's mom. I forgot about water. Okay, can you put water? water of course. And sleep and, okay. Water water and sleep. Water and sleep. Tell them about water. So this is good nutrition, right? So we talk about glucose, we talk about uh, good fat, we talk about mineral and vitamin sources. Now how about water? Water, yes, you can get water from the fresh fruit, you can get a tiny little bit from uh, any uh, like dairy product, but mainly you should rely on real water, okay? I'm not gonna suggest you like uh, juices, I'm not telling you to drink uh, tea, maybe herbal teas, but the water is what your body really needs. So aim for 1.5 up to 2 liters in a day, okay? Always carry the bottle of water with you or have it next to you while studying. Uh, another element that's very important is sleep and exercise, okay? I know uh, you might find that oh, it's a waste of time to exercise or I'm not gonna sleep that much because I need to use all my time to study, but believe me, those two activities are very important and they uh, could be a part of your success. So make sure that you sleep well, don't drink coffee in the second part of the day because it's going to make you jittery and you're not going to be able to have a good night's sleep. And uh, second of all, go out and get some fresh air from time to time. It could be for just 10-15 minutes, you could jog, you could walk, you could go and swim, you could do a little bit of yoga or you can put some music and dance. Uh, remember, it brings the oxygen to your brain. So it's very, very important. So with that, um, I'm done with uh, my mini class. Thank you for your attention and good luck.